Unfortunately, there isn't a shortcut through all of these rabbit holes, so we're just going to take them one at a time and just try to go through them as quickly as we can. So what is the order of Harrogary? According to Reader Wiki, quote, the word Harrogary refers to worshipers in a sacred grove or Herrick and demonstrates the Founder's inspiration in Germanic paganism. It was also identified with the ancient Germanic tribe, the Cheruski, the Order's first lodge, Arminia No. 1, and it was named for their leader, Arminius, who defeated Varus and destroyed three Roman legions in the Battle of the Teutoburg Forest. Close quote. And let us remember who worships in groves, like Bohemian Grove. Still quoting, Harrogary was the largest of these German associations or secret societies. By 1854, it had grown to over 5,000 members, and by 1871, to over 20,000. In the 1870s, there were over 300 Harrogary Lodges. <music> Quoting from this article by the Detroit News, quote, at the turn of the 20th century, 20% of U.S. men belonged to at least one secret society. Interestingly, this article points out, quote, club members often dressed in exotic costumes and headgear or fantasy military uniforms, close quote. Now, this sounds like the description of the picture that we saw of Maxwell, Epstein, and Weinstein. What do you think? Quoting the article, quote, Detroit is home to the largest Masonic temple in the United States, and the quirky castle-style five-story building on the Grand River that was a former GAR or Grand Army of the Republic clubhouse. These buildings are remnants of an era when 20% of the U.S. men belonged to a social club or two or three. In 1901, one in five over the age of 21 belonged to one or more secret societies, as they were commonly called whether they were clubs, fraternities, orders, mystical worlds, friendships, tabernacles, temples, nests, lodges, hives, tents, covens, or dens. Close quote. Let me just point out here, as far as the etymology of words go, most of the things just mentioned are associated with the occult, which isn't surprising, given the context. The thing to remember here is also pointed out in this article, quote, from 1870 to the end of the 1920s, Americans' social life centered on these clubs. Close quote. 
These clubs or secret societies were formed with a deliberate intent by those who think that they do not have to answer to the laws or constitution of any nation. They feel entitled by their wealth to partake in whatever evil or nefarious act they choose without recourse or consequence. I'd like to add that these societies are still alive and well and meeting regularly as we speak, just under a different name and location. I'll leave the rest of this article for you to read, but I just wanted to point out these secret societies were prevalent in America and are entrenched in part of our history. The Order of Harrigary was just another secret society, and what we have learned about them is that they are established by very connected German-American men in the community, usually very wealthy with a lot of influence. And I believe occultic is the word we are looking for here that describes most of these secret societies and why they were secret. I mean, why would you keep something secret? Usually, it's to prevent other people from knowing what you are involved in. It's to keep other people in your community unaware of what you are doing. Things like evil rituals and satanic practices. And this is still commonly used today. Some of the things these organizations or secret societies like the Order of Harrigary were involved in were, and I'm quoting from the Detroit News article, quote, people practiced secret handshakes and learned symbols, fictitious histories, greetings, and special rituals. Some carried swords, daggers, and bejeweled battle axes. They dressed in exotic costumes, antlered headdresses, turbans, or fantasy military uniforms, and argued passionately over the color of gloves or special plumes for hats. Close quote. Let's take a look at that photo again of Weinstein, Epstein, and Maxwell. And what does this tell you? And like this quote from the article, the truth behind most of the secrecy is this, quote, Finally, many proper button-down Victorians held a fascination for the world of spirits, hypnotism, seances, magic, and ancient cults. This fad seemed to carry into the popular allure of club secrecy, mystical ceremonies, and shared fantasy that went on behind the walls of secret societies. Close quote. We know the truth now, that it isn't, nor ever was, a fad to participate in these things. No, it's a belief and rituals, and it is a belief and rituals that you are required to be a part of. (laughs) 